If you Googled Denise Richards today, chances are your computer would probably crash, mm -hmm. and for a couple of reasons. One, as you've heard, her ex-husband Charlie Sheen has gotten himself into a little trouble on Tuesday. And two, because the model actress and most importantly mom is now starring in a new TV comedy called Blue Mountain State as the rowdy ex-wife and Randy. Yes, Randy's a nice word to use of a university football coach. Denise, welcome. And welcome, Thank sweetie. You. And I, I didn't even take a sip because I thought maybe you might need a, a little, little early. More. A little early. <laughs> Let's just leave it right there and see how and things go. Well, Thank we are so going to get to uh, your TV show because we want to hear about Perfect. it. It looks, it looks very, very funny. Thank but you. a lot has happened. A lot has transpired overnight. And uh, we've heard about Charlie. Have you talked to him today just to see how he's how he's doing? Uh, not to. I mean, it's a little early in L.A. still. Sure. So I, uh, oh, he's back in L.A. then already. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, tell us what happened as, as well as you can because if you read the papers, mm -hmm. it, it sounds as if he was in this hotel room. It was a wild, out of control. He trashed this room. You were right nearby mm -hmm. you freaked out started screaming called police they're saying you called 911 yeah, tell us papers. what tell us what um, happened the, the thing that I will say is I I did not call nine I wasn't screaming or freaking out I did not call 911 and other than that the details of what went on in the room what went on uh, that night, I prefer to keep private and personal. My daughters are very unaware of what happened they and I'm really trying to protect them. And, you know, this is Charlie. If he wants to discuss it, then I'll let him do it. But other than that, at the moment, right now, I don't want to say anything. Well, it must be bringing up terrible memories for you, too. This is the reason you left this marriage to begin with. Sure. You know, I, um, I am just happy to be in New York. I had this trip planned for months to promote the show and more importantly my daughters have never been here mm. and uh, we had a great time they got to see New York we went to Mary Poppins and mm -hmm. F.A.O. Schwartz and all of that and I'm, I'm a mom and, and that's the most important thing so that's uh, well I understand why you're why yeah. you're hesitant to, and you have <laughs> to understand why we have Absolutely. to ask the you questions the job, as well I, you know? I understand and, and, I mean, and not, again not to go into the details but <clears throat> are you disappointed because I know again we talk about patterns of behavior and everyone mm -hmm. gets it but are you disappointed in in this latest thing when it comes to your ex I um, have a lot of faith in my ex and um, I am, con am concerned about our, our children sure. and my concern is to keep them protected and thank God they're five and six and they still cannot just turn on the computer or the television to watch the news and that's where my priority is is keeping them safe and secure and and not know what went on at the they're at an age where thank God they can't really do figure that out and watch what's going on do they still get to see <coughs> uh, Charlie a lot how do you guys work that out uh, we came out here together we mm -hmm. Charlie and I and the girls flew out here together he was with us when we saw Mary Poppins he and I took them to the museum and shopping so we we had a great time the girls are unaware of anything so as far as they know they had a great time with their mom and dad in New York and it, yeah and it's it's easy to do that when your children are as young as yours are mm -hmm. and it gets harder Definitely. and harder and harder once they know how to read you can't right. even go in a grocery store Absolutely. you know right. so, so that is going to be part of your future right now. <laughs> yeah right now tell us a little bit about I know that you are traveling around and talking about your TV show yes. you do play a little how would you describe this woman she's well, sort of she's very saucy she's got a lot of different sides to her yeah. I was excited to get back doing scripted television and and uh, I love the show it spikes comedy it's their second season and I'm thrilled that I was brought on to this would season. You, would you call her a slut Denise? <laughs> well, you can call her whatever you want. She's she not, likes to have a good time. She's married what to middle my America husband call her a slut? I, they would call her whatever they want to call her. Yeah. I, she's a very fun colorful character for me to play. With a great wardrobe. Exactly. There I you go. Were clothes. you thinking when this, uh, to bring this back up one more time, but were you thinking when this all went down that oh my gosh now I've got to go promote this television show. Yeah, that's is this going to be the worst or about. is it going to end up actually you know not being such a bad thing I've been through a lot and I've learned to just you pick yourself up you move forward I have an obligation to promote the show I wanted to stick with that I'm very proud of it and uh, you know I'm professional so that's that's why I'm here I wanted to continue doing that mm -hmm. and it's a five episode arc for you yeah, with maybe a chance of it continuing we'll see what happens we'll see how people respond to the character and and all of that but I love the show and, and think it's a it's a fun one so what ke keeps you going when not just during times like this <coughs> although you certainly had your share of them where do you get your strength um I think my girls mm -hmm. yeah I mean when you're a mom but stuff happened you know, before you had your girls too yeah, yeah it's uh, uh you know my mom was a very was my rock and then you know now that I have my daughters it's you know, I'm, I'm a strong woman and I want to be a good role model for my girls and things happen I can't control what happens all I can do is I can either 
dwell on it and, and feel a certain way, or you just pick yourself up and move forward. Is, is Charlie going to stay a part of your life, as part of your children's Charlie lives? Charlie will always be a part of my life. We are bonded together forever, and no matter what the situation is, he's their dad. And, uh, you know, it was unfortunate what happened. I, I can't control what happened. All I can do is can move forward and, and that's all I can do. Control your own actions. <laughs> right? I that's control my it. house and the, cur the girls and their happy, beautiful children. And she's going to be writing all about her life <laughs> in a new Simon yes, Schuster. You just so you'll have to come back, more. please, when that comes out. Do you think you're the only one with a book? Stop it. She says it's <laughs> not a tell-all. See? Oh. Mine isn't a tell-all. Uh -huh. And that's one thing I wanted everyone, you know, it's not going to be salacious. I've been through a lot, and a lot of women and men ask me how I got through a difficult time. And I really think it's important to, you know, figure out what's important in your life. And you just... We're going to take that high road. Take the high road and right. Good for you. We wish you all the best. Good luck with the show, really okay? Thank we you appreciate so it. Again, it's on, it's, it's, it's on Spike TV. Thanks. It's still to come Olympic great Apollo. Anton Ono, excuse me, mm -hmm. and the 19 Age Days that changed his life. What a story. We've never heard of this before. Terrific, yeah. The first season